Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time, the Lord our God is good. This is the day that the Lord our God has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Our God is good and is our very present help in time of need. He knows and He delivers all those who trust in Him. Glory be to His holy name. This again, our today's program. I want to welcome all one of us in this our program. As we've been dealing with our topic, Victory through the voice of the Lord our God. Victory through the voice of the Lord our God. Amen. That's a topic we've been dealing with, and we continue with that topic. And we also have been looking at the perilous times. The other the Lord said, in the later days, perilous times will come. And this are just some of them. This is not the last. Days like this will not be the last ones. Days will come. The challenges will come. But the most important thing is, where are you? Where are you? In the word of the Lord in Psalm 91, Psalm 91, I'm putting your Bible in Psalm 91, from verse 1, the word of the Lord said, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him, I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Praise the Lord. There are snares all over. Even in this case of all this disease, they are snares. They are traps to catch those who are not under the shadow of the Almighty God. You need to be under the shadow of the Almighty. The hour has come. When the whole world is shaken, everyone is crying. The hour has come where you cannot say, I'm running to the east, I'm running to the west, I'm running to the north. The hour has come to run unto the Lord. For the word of the Lord says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run unto it and they are saved. Beloved, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. There is no safety outside God. Safety is in God. Abide in Him. Abide in His word. And His word will abide in you. And deliverance, protection, salvation, sanctification will be assured for you. Glory be to His holy name. Outside God, there is nothing. He said, I will make a wall of fire around them in the glory in their midst. That's Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5. I will be a wall of fire around them. Do you want to be surrounded by the wall of fire? There's no arrow can pass through the fire. There's no evil hand that can snatch you out of the fire. So you are protected by the fire of God. When you abide in the word of God, all over the world, people are running helter scatter. Is it when they are buying? You see the way they are living? People are so troubled. Their hearts are failing them. The truth is that this sickness is not the one that's killing most people. What is killing people is fear. Because their hearts are troubled. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ promised us in John 14, verse 1, He said, Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. In Matthew 6, 25, he also told us, do not worry what to eat, what to drink, what to wear. You may be watching this podcast and you are worried. Say, there are lockdowns in my environment. Where will my help come from? Where will I get food to eat? Where will I get water to drink? I need to go out. For Psalm 20, 121, verse 1 said, I lift up my eyes unto the hills. Where cometh my help? My help come from the Lord who create heaven and earth. So look unto God. He will send the rabbits for you. He will send He will send help for you where you do not expect help to come from. He will send salvation for you where you do not help expect salvation to come from. Therefore, have faith in God. 
have heart in God. God bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.